All right, so video part two. This is a kids sites challenge part two. Um, and we need to continue on building our web page. I'm going to click on add page right here. And then I'm going to name my page reading. So now this creates my reading page with the same header that I've been using. So um, I'm going to click or I'm going to drag and nest my reading page underneath ELAR. So when people click on ELAR, there's a drop down for the reading page. So just drag it. And if y'all can see this right here, there's a blue little bar and a blue dot. Uh, basically, just drag reading onto ELAR. And now that has been nested. I'm going to click again on this plus button. And we're going to name this writing. And I have my writing page. And that goes underneath E-L-A-R as well. Reading and writing are part of English language arts. So um, drag writing underneath E-L-A-R. And now... When you move your mouse up here onto ELAR, you have uh, reading and writing. Very cool. So um, I'm going to pause, make sure you guys are all caught up. All right, so now it's time to add something to your portfolio. Um, I'm going to use the... Yeah, I'm going to use the insert... Um, menu right here uh, and this has a lot of things it has google docs google slides anything from your google drive so like i mentioned earlier this is going to show off some of your work that you've done in writing if i was to click over here on the math page i can add things from the math page the science page um, and then let me just go back to writing it doesn't matter Whatever you guys have created a document for that you want to put in your page. So actually, I got a good one. Let's go to the home page and you can put an all about me Google slides right here in your home page. A lot of uh, fourth, fifth grade classes, even sixth and seventh grade classes will start off uh, introing kids to um, this Google suite by doing all about me Google slides. So I'm going to click over here on slides and I don't have an all about me handy I'm just going to use this I can show others um, Google slides so click on insert so highlight it whatever documents you want to highlight I only need one and then insert down there at the bottom so now my um, Google slides shows up it's kind of small and it's over here on the left hand side I'm going to use this uh, blue dot right here at the bottom to resize, and I'm clicking and holding and dragging to resize my um, Google Slides. Now, I also want it centered, so I'm going to click on it, and this grid shows up, and that shows me when my Google Slides is centered. The see those bars down there at the bottom? Um, that shows me that this is in the middle of my web page, and I like to have everything in the center. So there you go. That is how you can add a Google um, Slides to your web page. So uh, one other thing, um, this Google Slides has to be made public. So uh, this is kind of tricky, but if you don't do this, people cannot see your Google Slides. They come to your web page, and they just get a blank space right here. That's no good. That's not cool. So. If I click on my slides and these dots show up, and then there is a um, arrow, uh, that means this is going to open up your slides. So let me click on this arrow. And um, notice that I changed over to my new tab. This new tab pops up. And I need to sign in. Hold on. 
All right, I'm back. I had to switch accounts. Um, so yeah, now my Google Slides has um, shown up. I need to click on this big blue share button right up here in the corner, okay? And then I need to click on get shareable link right here. Top right, get shareable link. And then I'm going to change uh, by clicking on anyone at WFISD right here in the middle. If I click on that and then click on more, and then anyone with the link can view or public on the web. Looks like it says public on the web. So anyone with the link or public. Let's go with public and then click save and then click done. So now um, people can see your um, web page. So let me go back 